Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to some more FNAF news, and just like last time, this might be one of the biggest FNAF leaks we've had in a very, very long time in regards to merchandise. If you don't know what I'm talking about, all the way back in October, we took a look at a giant list of leaked upcoming merchandise from Funko, and oh boy, if we thought that was a lot, you just wait and see what we have in store for today's video. So if you're excited for all the brand new upcoming FNAF products, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. We talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time, and subscribing is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on in FNAF. So without further ado, let's first take a look back at October and see what that list entailed. If you want full in-depth look at what is happening in this list, don't worry. Again, I made a video on it back in October. I'll leave that link down below. But very quickly, let's skim through this list and talk about it. So this list was provided by Tony Mario Bros, who will also be linked down below. Please go show them some support. And it's of upcoming products by Funko that they leaked. It includes two 10-inch plushies of Nightmare Freddy and Nightmare Bonnie a 16-inch plushie of Candy the Cat, a Blackheart Bonnie plushie from FNAF AR, Balloon and Circus plushies of the original gang. We're going to be talking about that a bit more in today's video. And finally, plushies for the Sun and Moon daycare attendant from Security Breach. For figures, we've got two 13-and-a-half-inch Freddy and Bonnies, Blackheart Bonnie, some more of the clown characters, and also Freddy with a balloon and Balloon Foxy. And lastly, figures for, again, the Sun and Moon versions of the daycare attendant. For snaps, we got Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica and Toy Chica 2 pack, a security room playset and Phantom Foxy, and lastly, a Foxy Soda, Security Breach Mystery Mini Season 2, and some group skateboard deck based on Security Breach. And since this initial leak, we actually got quite a few of those products revealed to us, so let's quickly go through them. First up, we've got the 10-inch Nightmare Freddy and Nightmare Bonnie plushies. These guys are exclusive to Hot Topic, and they've actually been showing up in some stores already, so hey, if you live close to a Hot Topic, maybe you want to go check it out, see if these guys are in stock. For figures, we got our first look at the 13 and a half inch Freddy figure today. This is what he looks like. As you can see, he's absolutely massive, so you can expect him and also a Bonnie figure coming out very, very soon, because based off the picture, it does look like they're starting to show up in stores. So yeah, there's our first look at the 13 and a half inch Freddy figure. Also leaked back in October are Foxy and Lefty Funko statues, and those also got revealed to us. This is what they're going to look like. As you can see, absolutely fantastic. A whole bunch of detail put into these guys. Again, they just look absolutely phenomenal. They're coming out pretty soon, actually, this month if you pre-ordered them on Amazon. And also, we got the brand new Funko Snaps revealed to us. A two-pack of Nightmare Chica and Toy Chica, the exclusive Walmart Phantom Foxy. One pack of Nightmare Bonnie, as well as the Security Room playset with Toy Freddy. And then, the final thing that we've gotten revealed to us are the Balloon and Circus characters. Because just like the Hot Topic plushies and 13 and a half inch Freddy uh, figures. These guys also just randomly started showing up in stores. Hot Topic specifically, don't know if they're actually going to be exclusive to Hot Topic, but it seems like that's the only store they're showing up in as of right now. People were also able to find keychains based on Balloon Freddy and also Balloon Foxy, and a couple days later they actually showed up on Hot Topic's website showing off their full designs. Now what's fascinating about these brand new characters is that in some way they're affiliated with Security Breach. And again, if you want further details, details on that connection, the October video is linked down below. But basically, Funko has been branding these characters as Security Breach. In their databases, they're all tied with the game. They're listed as products based on Security Breach. But obviously, these guys don't show up in the game. So the working theory right now is that somehow, some way, these guys are going to be showing up in the upcoming Ruin DLC. What's weird is that obviously these don't look like animatronic characters. They're a bit too cartoony in design. So a lot of people are thinking that instead of showing up in the game DLC, they're instead going to be showing up in promotional material like posters or more likely a second season of Freddy and Friends on tour, which was an animated series still well put together to promote Security Breach as it got closer to release. And like I said, these guys obviously have a very cartoony style that would fit in perfectly with a short animated series. But honestly, I'd love to know what you guys have to think in the comments down below because it's not confirmed what these guys are affiliated with. Like I said, in Funko's database, it says, you know, Security Breach 
Funko Pop. You know, so in some way, Funko has these guys branded with the with that game. I don't know. The walking theory is that they're going to be showing up either in Ruin or in promotion for Ruin. Hopefully, however, we won't have to wait too long to see more about these new characters because Tony Mario Bros. also revealed that on January 18th, 2023. I know it has a different date on this image, but on the 18th of January this month, they're officially going to be revealed. All their figures, pop keychains, plushies, and pop figures. Funko's going to be tweeting them out, actually promoting them with an official release date, so we will be able to see a full look at this new wave. Hopefully, at that part, we'll be able to see whether or not they truly do align with Security Breach based on their packaging, but we're just gonna have to wait and find out. And while we're here talking about Funko leaks from Tony, might as well talk about their updated spreadsheet of upcoming merchandise in relation to FNAF and Funko. For the action figures, once again, Sun and Moon Daycare Tendon is coming, as well as all the Circus and Balloon figures. Balloon Foxy will be exclusive to some retailer, as well as Blackheart Bonnie. 13 and a half inch figures of Freddy, who we did see already, Bonnie, and also a brand new exclusive Golden Freddy figure. For pop figures, once again, we've got the Circus and Balloon characters, as well as a flocked Balloon Foxy Pop and Tea case. Their keychains, another series of Security Breach Mystery Minis. It's not listed on this image, but the Circus and Balloon characters are also going to be getting their own Mystery Mini line. We got a whole bunch of exclusive plushies. All of the Balloon and Circus characters will be exclusive to some retailers. Thankfully, the plushies of Sun and Moon are not. They're going to be common. You can find them in any store. However, the Blackheart Bonnie plushie, the 16-inch Candy plushie, and a brand new 16-inch Tie-Dye Funtime Foxy plushie, once again, will be exclusive to some retailers. As for brand new snaps, we officially have a Security Breach wave coming soon. It's going to feature Glamrock Freddy, a two-pack of Glamrock Chica and Montgomery, a pack for Vanny, a hallway playset with Vanessa. That's going to be interesting to see how they do the swappable faceplates, because, well, you know, Vanessa's a human, allegedly at least. You've got the Rec Room playset, Freddy's uh, Green Room playset, as well as Monty's Green Room playset. And lastly, you have the exclusive Foxy Soda. But don't worry, because we're not done just yet. Because Tony also revealed holiday-themed Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy Funko Pops coming out this winter. We don't know what they're going to look like, but they will be themed around the holiday season. I really hope they're not just going to be simple recolors to celebrate the festivities. I do hope they make new molds, which usually Funko does do with their holiday-themed pops. I know recently they made some ginger bread themed like DC superhero pops as well as some snowmen Star Wars pops all of which had brand new molds so hopefully when these guys do come out they're also gonna have different molds because that would be very interesting to see and whoo <laughs> that was a lot hopefully you stuck with me I know there was a lot a lot to talk about whether you like Funko or not looks like they still have a very very strong future with FNAF with a whole bunch of products coming out this year and further. So I'm officially out of breath <laughs> listing off all those products, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me which products are you looking forward to most coming out pretty soon from Funko, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.